guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Before I get started, I want y'all to know that I do have clothes on. I just um, don't want y'all to think that I'm naked in my house. If you haven't already seen my video, I dyed my locks. You can't see right now, so I'll post a pic. But I just wanted to come and tell you guys the mistakes that I made trying to dye my locks. So y'all won't make those same mistakes if you decide to color your locks. Okay, what I did was I started from my root. I started in the back, I started from my roots and worked my way to the ends. So by the time I got to the front, um, I almost ran out. And I really feel that if I had three tubes of the dye instead of just two, then my hair would have took better the first time because I was trying to really, really space it out and it didn't take that well. Another thing is starting from the roots and going to the ends is bad anyway because you can risk getting hot roots. Hot roots is when the hair, the dye releases because it's closer to your hair because dye releases when it's close to heat and nothing else takes except for the roots and the ends did not take as, don't take as well and that's kind of what happened to mine. Um, except for it just wasn't the roots. It actually went up a little bit up my locks and some of my locks were colored but it wasn't dark enough. So I had to go to a professional and she did the same thing that I did except for she said, no I'm sorry, she did not do the same thing I did. She did the opposite of everything I did and plus she set me underneath the dryer. So she started from the back and she did all of my ends all the way up until probably like an inch Inch, inch and a half away from um, my roots so like this much and then after she had my whole all of my ends done she excuse me she put a cap on and I sat underneath the dryer for about 20-25 minutes came out she reapplied the rest to my head and I sat in the chair for another 20-25 minutes then she rinsed deep conditioned underneath the dryer so what I would say is if you are trying to dye locks, start from the end first, either cover it with a plastic bag or a plastic wrap and sit there for at least an hour if you're not gonna sit underneath the dryer. If you're gonna sit underneath the dryer, then about 20, 25 minutes. And then apply the rest to the rest of your head and let it sit there if you do not, um, and let it sit there for probably like, I don't know, another 20 minutes or so. As far as the edges, be careful with the edges because they, the edges are short hair and it's like I said, it's close to your scalp. So when you apply it on your edges, just make sure that you don't have it on there for a long time, unless you just want your whole hair to be like bright, especially with the magenta. So I'm glad I didn't overdo it. I'm glad she didn't overdo it. And I'm glad that it came out even though I did make mistakes. I spent $65, so that was my mistake. I ended up having to spend money instead of doing it the right way the first time and doing it myself. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any advice for future references, let me know. Um, as far as me re-dyeing my roots, I don't think I will. Uh, I just wanted to, I want it to dye my hair so my hair would become my tips later on. So this maroon that you cannot see because my camera sucks, but the, the maroon in my hair will later on become my tips. That's why I did it. Uh, I'm glad I did it in this process instead of waiting until my hair grew out and then doing my ends because I, to me, black hair is boring sometimes unless it's jet black and beautiful. And uh, I mean, to each his own. So I'm hoping that this video helped you guys. I know there's a lot of professionals out there who can do it a lot better than I can, but I'm just letting you guys know my experience so you can avoid the same mistakes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.